We are literally almost done, guys. But um, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share. But also, a special news is we if we get to 100 subscribers, we'll be giving a cash giveaway. So please get us to our goal. And yeah, so the book that we're going to be reading today is The Playground Queen, written by Casey and Morris, PhD, illustrated by Jasmine T. Millis. What's up my fellow young kings and queens? My name is Kaya, and I'm going to tell you about my first day as queen of the playground. Wake up Kaya, it's time to get ready, I heard my mommy calling. I jumped out of bed, gave mommy a big hug, and headed to the bathroom. In the bathroom, I climbed up on, on my stepping stool so I could see my wild morning curls in the mirror as I brushed my teeth. Do you like seeing your hair in the mirror? I know I do. Can you do my favorite hairstyle, I asked mommy. She smiled and softly touched my chin. Of course, my young, beautiful queen. Who does your hair? Your mom, your dad, your older sister, you? I do my own hair, sometimes. After eating a bowl of oatmeal and fruit, mommy asked, are you ready for your first day as a first grader? I struck with a crooked smile and said, I think so. Were you ever nervous on your first day in school? I was so nervous for my first day at school, but I knew I would see Neo, my friend from kindergarten, so at least I would have one friend in the first grade. Were you ever like nervous and then you realized, oh, maybe I might see a friend the next grade? I know I get nervous. You see, last year in Ms. Johnson's kindergarten class, Neo and I stayed after school. Stayed on night after class every day to talk about how excited we were going back to school and play our recess together. We became best friends. Mommy dropped me off at my classroom and handed me my hat, my lucky hat. Wear it like a crown, young queen, she said. Do you have something special you take to you for school? I don't have anything particular. Mommy reached out her fist to give me a fist bump. I love you, mommy, I said, and then I made my way to class. My mommy didn't know that I wore my lucky hat whenever I felt shy or nervous. Can you, like, think of yourself in Kaya's position? I walked up to my class door, took a gulp, and opened it. I slowly poked my head in my new classroom. My new teacher, Mr. Brown, said, welcome to class. What's your name? I slashed my shoulders timidly and lifted my sweaty hands to wave, Kaya, do you like your new teacher? Or did you like your new teacher? My teacher said, hi Kaya, go ahead and find a seat. I looked around to find Neil. I spotted him and I was thrilled to have seen my friend. But that feeling, that feeling suddenly disappeared when I saw him sitting next to someone else. He didn't even say hello. I found a seat away from everyone else and sloshed down. Then I heard a voice say, hey, come sit over here with us. I turned around and saw a curly hair, just like mine. I smelled and walked over. Did you have that one friend your friends with now before to wave at you and invited you over to sit with them? Ring, 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 the bell rang. It was time to go to recess this year because I was a first grader, I would be on the big kids playground. Even though it was big, I knew I'd be fine because Neo and I have talked about playing at recess online last year. I went outside and stood looking out at the big playground. It was so big, it looked like a jungle. I looked over to the basketball court and saw Neo. I stood on my tippy toes to wait so he could see me, but he didn't wait back. I sat down and wrapped my arms around my knee. I felt so sad because Neil didn't want to play with me. Did you ever feel like one of your friends didn't want to play with you or you felt left out? Hi, Kaya, 
Santa boys, remember me, the leak from class? Do you want to play with us? I smiled and grabbed his hands as he hooked me up. Malik had a big group of friends. We played all recess long. We dribbled our way to basketball courts first. Malik couldn't shoot as good as me, but I let him score a couple baskets. I caught it three, two, one, swish. That's game. We tethered our way to the tether ball pole. It was my first time at tether ball, but my new friends taught me how to play. Around and around and around the ball went. Have you ever played tether ball? I haven't, but I would like to try. We hopped to the hopscotch area and put a foot in every square and sang one foot, one foot, two feet, one. Malik shouted, first one to the grass is at the top of the pyramid. I ran and ran and made it there first. I would get to be on top of the pyramid with all my friends holding me up. Just as I made my way to start climbing, I saw Neo slowly walking towards us with his head down. I stuck my hand out just like Malik did to me when I was sitting by myself and said, you could be a part of this pyramid too. Did you ever invite one of your old friends to come and hang out with you because they felt left out? I did, because I wouldn't want anyone to feel, out, feel left out. I climbed to the top of the pyramid of friends and took my hat off. And I spread my arms out while feeling like the wind blow, feeling the wind blow around me. For the first time, I felt like I was the queen of the playground. That was the end of the story. I hope you liked. I hope you liked the book and um, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share it to all your families and friends. And comment down below any books that y'all would like us to um, that you would recommend us to read. Remember that if we get to 100 um, subscribers, a cash giveaway. Remember to read every day before you play, and have a nice day. Bye.